Hello, welcome back to FYPC. I'm uh, Gary and I'm sharing my prostate cancer experience uh, with you to help demystify the disease. Uh, for this video, I want to talk to you about the MRI scan. Okay, so I imagine that I've been to the GP, I've had the PSA blood test, I've had the digital rectal examination, and I've been off, sent off now to go to the urology department of the local hospital. The first person I meet is the consultant nurse, and she's going to do another digital rectal examination. Uh, and she has obviously um, felt dozens and dozens, hundreds of thousands of prostates. And uh, she says, yeah, there's definitely something going on there. I'm going to refer you for an MRI scan. So this is the first opportunity for the doctors to um, examine through a proper scan what's actually going on in the prostate. Now I'm not going to tell you about the technical details of an MRI scan, I just want to share my experience. So um, off to the uh, ultrasound, the MRI department of the, of the hospital, and uh, sit in the waiting area for a short period of time, get called through, get changed into a gown, um, leave everything behind of course because you're going into a very powerful magnetic scanner, uh, fill out the questionnaire, the checklist that they go through to make sure that, that there's nothing wrong and then off you go into the scanner room itself. Um, now I heard somebody describe it the other day as a giant polo mint um, and it is kind of like that if you look at it from the front and then it's got a bed, a platform that slides into the scanner itself. So they lay me down on the bed, they put a little bit of padding underneath my knees, they put this heavy blanket on top of my chest and plug that into the machine. Uh, not sure what's going on there technically, but it's uh, something that begins to feel like a bit of a constraint. And then they put some headphones on. Um, if you're lucky, they might offer you a choice of music. Um, and then I'm told that, of course, during the scan itself, then the best thing for me to do would be to lie completely still, because if I move, then the image is going to be blurred, and we definitely don't want that. So, at this point, the bed starts to move into the scanner, and the first thing I, I want to tell you about, of course, is that it is quite a confined space. So if you're the person, sort of person who feels a little bit anxious about being in a confined space, you might find that a little bit uncomfortable. Um, the roof of the scanner is very close to your nose, a couple of centimetres away, and you'll feel the walls of the scanner will be right next to your arms. Um, you've got the heavy blanket on and you're being told to lie very still. So um, at this point uh, you've got that slight discomfort to deal with and then the noise starts. So the scanner itself is noisy, there's lots of whirring sounds, there's lots of banging sounds, there's lots of different tones and uh, uh, types of sounds and it's all very close to you of course because you're in that confined space. So again if you're sensitive to noise uh, that's something just to be uh, aware of. Uh, and then the third thing that I um, want to bring to your attention because it surprised me a little bit was the fact that um, the duration was a lot longer than I expected. So when I went in nobody said well look this is going to take half an hour and I was thinking I was in for a five minute procedure and as time wore on I began to feel a little bit more anxious about the fact that I didn't know how long it was going to last and um, I needed to you know I was worried about how long I was going to be in there. Um, they do give you a little thing that you can use with your thumb to abort the procedure but the uh, technician said to me very carefully he said look if you stop it for any reason, we'll have to start again from the beginning. Okay, so think carefully before you press the, the buzzer. So, tight confined space, lots and lots of noise. It's going to take 25 to 30 minutes. And then um, out we come. The bed slides out, they take everything off you and you're free to go. Um, the point to mention about the MRI, of course, is that it is completely painless. Uh, so there is nothing there to worry about in terms of it being painful. Um, the results come about two weeks later, or they did in my hospital, um, and what I'll tell you about in the next video is how those results were presented to me, what the words mean, and uh, what I took away from it, and what I was told by my consultant, um, because the next step is an even deeper investigation. So I look forward to sharing that with you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, because I'll be putting something out every week, and I want to share that with you so that it demystifies the prostate cancer journey uh, for you. Thanks for watching, uh, see you soon.